Hey, it's Ingress from the Hill Levels here with an updated achievement guide for Magnet on Pixel Gladiator. The game is developed by Flying Islands team, published by Zitilon, released on October 25th, 2019 for the price of $6.99. We got a review code for creating this content. So Magnet achievement is for having 50000 in the bank. Basically, before an update that hit sometime in December, you started out with 100,000 and I showed that in my previous walkthrough video and you just get the achievement as soon as you start up the game because you have more than 50,000 and that was weird and it made the survival mode quite easy because of it they changed it so that it's now starting with 10,000 so you don't get the achievement right away you can't buy a lot of the stuff, so it's much harder. So I gave you a I give you a strategy that may work pretty well. Uh, you will you may need to practice the game. So uh, hope it helps. Um, if you just want the fifty thousand achievement, uh, you can play survival, uh, not survival, arena one, and go to the boss and keep farming the don't kill the boss just keep farming the uh, spawns and they will continue to give you the money and uh, it's pretty easy to get like 50,000 in about 15 20 minutes i haven't tried that method but i saw it on a ta comment on my solution so uh, thanks to whoever posted that I should have done my research and have that page open, sorry. Uh, sorry that I'm not giving you a shout out, but really thank you for that information. <coughs> All right, so what I did here is I bought the grenade launcher weapon, which is great with a splash damage. And then in order to manage a little bit better, I bought the uh, jetpack and I'm trying to save money. I'm not like buying anything else i'm gonna buy a few more things like uh, the drone things to help help me out in the later stages but uh, so far i'm managing here try to destroy as many of the meteors as possible because each meteor is money <clears throat> if they just fall down onto the ground you don't get any money but if you do hit it with your weapon you get some money so it's uh, important that you try to hit as many as possible this always happens on wave 6 or 7 if i remember correctly the boss wave the 10th wave is actually random so you may get a boss from the arena one or another similar boss that you can farm and that would be great you can actually finish the 50,000 off if you get the boss on the 10th level otherwise you will have to continue playing a little bit more uh, just continue to use your <coughs> grenade launcher you know, kill the enemies remember that if you kill the enemies too quickly they will not give you money but also you don't want them to come too close because that will be dangerous for you and you may get a game over so better to not get the money and die then die so just try your best to manage that yeah, jetpack helps here because i can fly up very high and then use the splash damage to kill <clears throat> so here i decide to start buying some orbs the, this one i think this one is the one where it attacks things that are close by the reason I went for the one that melees is because I needed that protection and I didn't want the shooting one to kill the enemies too far out and I don't get the money because my main concern is the money here so this works out well I tried the shooting one but you know i kind of kill people too quickly so i i fully upgrade i get all three here i this is my recommended build it helps tremendously for your survival especially those guys that are like 
flying around if they'll just be killed by the melee things and whatever's on the ground your green launcher is just too OP still making it quite easy to kill these guys <coughs> Money is slowly building up, but I, I spend them, so... I found building walls not to be all, all that helpful, so I don't recommend it. You are likely to need more than a few tries. I, I actually got lucky and I could have farmed this guy. And just not bothering to attack the boss and continue to kill these uh, small spawns would have got me the achievement possibly here. But I wanted to show you more of the gameplay rather than you know, just finishing it off here and then done. Because technically you need to play at least up to um, uh, wave, I think a wave 18 to 20 to get three items. Because the first item drop is where the meteors are, second item drop is from the boss, and the third item drop should be from the second boss. So I wanted to give you a little bit more of a gameplay so so that you understand how the game mechanism have changed, how the money should be spent uh, to better manage the, your playstyle after this change has occurred, the 100,000 to 10,000 difference. Okay, so I've almost killed off the boss. Uh, I'm having a very hard time reading how much money I have because the previous screen is very small. Um, let me just look a little bit closer to make sure. Okay, uh, sorry, still can't tell. I tried. I should. I think I'm at like 15,000. The resolution of the preview video is so small that I can't read it. God damn, I'm getting old. <laughs> I ended up with actually the same item, so I couldn't pick it up. But yeah, you should have a different item. I was just unlucky there. <clears throat> you need to have three different items for the achievement itself on the bottom right side I think that's the other hard achievement uh, in this game now all right I just continue on I play the next wave the wave after the boss is usually pretty easy it's like your money wave you get a lot of money many enemies are coming but they are easy ones Okay. Uh, by the way, just in case you have a question, Arena 1, 2, 3 are all still the same, so the previous guide will work for that. Uh, so use that. I still didn't buy any additional orbs or protection or weapons. I'm continuing with just one grenade, a jetpack, and three melee attackers orbs. Uh, depending on which enemy waves you get, which boss you get, uh, it may be worthwhile to invest in other things. Uh, so you'll have to adjust your tactics slightly based on what enemies are coming. But uh, for the most part, this is the best build that I've found. Uh, 3 melee attackers, grenade launcher. Should be able to fend off almost everything. The only problem I had is with the boss that teleports around. I couldn't figure out how to easily kill with this build. So if you get that boss, uh, yeah, just consider yourself unlucky and start over is my best advice. I think I'm at like 21,000. I'm not spending any money and each kill is like getting me 35, 36, whatever, a lot of money and there's many many enemies coming, so good stuff. 
you should have this achievement if you didn't farm from a box around wave 15 or between somewhere between wave 15 to 20 and then it'll be just a matter of buying all the upgrades all the weapons you know, for the achievement you'll need more than 50,000 so but yeah everything else would be same as my previous walkthrough after you get this done in whatever way possible uh, yeah just I thought it was strange when I first encountered this um, game and it gave me the achievement right away so yeah I guess it was good of me to play as soon as possible but if you missed out it's still not impossible I think this is the way if you get another item actually so uh, maybe not I don't see a uh, item drop here Hmm. Anyway, we, uh, there is. We continue on. We see these dragon things. Enemy waves are random, so you 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 may see different enemies on the same wave. You're not going to. You may not see these same enemies uh, in your game on wave 16, 17, whatever the wave you're playing. From this point on, the game actually gets kind of hard to manage with just the grenade launcher. So you may want to start investing a little bit, but not too much, into stuff like health uh, or walls to you know fend off a little bit on one side or something like that. I don't recommend building the turrets. You do heal fully after the round is over, so it's it's gonna depend how good you are at <clears throat> dodging. Here, I finally decide to you know look at some possible upgrades, and I think I got a shooting one shooting, not too many. I didn't want to kill everything too quickly. Still, I thought one would be enough, and then I could manage. The onslaught. <laughs> okay, um, yeah, it's just continuing to kill the guys, uh, you know, trying to protect your state, the center terminal thing. The granny launcher is still a very OP weapon, it's going to annihilate everybody very quickly. And we're almost getting to that 50,000 point here. Those little flying things don't do very much damage, so it's okay if you get hit a little bit. I decided to upgrade one more. I, I needed to play it safe, I didn't want to die. So the achievement should be coming pretty soon I hope this has helped I know it's not a very detailed or helpful guide unfortunately due to the randomness of the enemy waves that you might get but my recommended build upgrade your jetpack upgrade your HP uh, get three melee uh, orbiting guys and then around wave 16 or so start buying some shooting guys as well to help you out uh, it's better that you survive than you miss out on some money that, because you kill some enemies that are too far away so there you go i just got the magnet achievement i hope th this has helped please use the other walkthrough for the rest of the achievement uh, it should be still pretty much all applicable so thank you very much for watching i'm sangrias from the hidden level stay tuned to our channel for more